Hello everyone, my name is Sean Hendricks and in this video what I'm going to do is take you through the process of creating a shader that will allow you to have rim lighting on a character. And I don't mean rim lighting as act actually using lights, but the shader itself will generate the rim light. Uh, the reason I do this for a lot of the stuff, work, stuff I work on is often it gets annoying trying to continuously adjust your lights to create that perfect glancing angle rim light on something when that thing is moving around or you're constantly adjusting the pose. You end up spending an awful lot of time tweaking your lights and rendering to see if it's getting you what you want. So instead what I sometimes do is create a shader that will basically render me a rim light into a separate pass and that way in comp I can just control the rim light directly. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use falloff maps to create my rim light and I'm going to take you through the basic process for anyone who isn't familiar with how you do it. So here you can see what Dave looks like to start off with. This is using a sun sky system. Uh, two general uh, bright lights that just give him a general illumination and I've got one light looking straight into his eyes that just lights up that area a little bit puts the highlights on the on the eyeballs so we'll just minimize that and so the first thing we need to do is set up two passes we're just gonna I'm not gonna get too deep into passes we'll just create one pass which will be the general render pass the overall beauty pass and we'll create one for the rim light so what I'm gonna do is go into rendering pick on state sets and I'm just going to go and reset my state sets. So we now have one state. This, for all intents and purposes, now is the beauty state because it, it is the scene as it currently sits. So now I can go in and just create a second state. And what I'm going to do is turn on record. And first thing I want to do is get rid of the background. So I'm just going to go into my layer manager and say I don't need the background. Then I'm going to go up into my light lister and we're just going to turn off all the lights because I really don't need them for this pass. I don't want lighting affecting where my rim light goes, which sounds a little odd. Uh, so we close that down. So those are all gone. So now all I need is to change the texture on this character to create the rim light that I want. So I'm going to go and open up my materials editor. And let's say we're going to use this material as my rim light material. So I'll just drag and drop that onto Dave. And we're basically set up. I can now turn off record. And if I turn this state off, it'll go back to a default state which has the background, has a texture on it, everything else set. Uh, I have this null state that I left behind which is a beauty pass. Technically without any states on I have a beauty pass but I usually like to leave one state un untouched that isn't either my original scene or any of the states I'm using for passes. Uh, that's just personal preference for me. So once I've got this state in here, let's just turn that back on so we can see what we're working with. And if I hit render at this point, remember there is no light in the scene, nothing. So we should just get a completely black scene, just like so. Now, we're going to jump in and we're going to change the material to a arch and design material since I'm working with Mental Ray. We're going to set the color to black. And I'm going to completely remove reflectivity so that there's no glossiness, nothing that could be affecting the overall look. Once I've done that, now we go into self-illumination glow and we're going to use a map type called a falloff. So first I'll just turn on self-illumination. We're going to say I want this to be really bright. So I'm going to set it to like 50,000 candles per meter square. Click on here and pick falloff. Now for those who aren't familiar with falloff map, falloff map basically controls the application of a gradient of texture based on angle. So for instance right now it's set to perpendicular par parallel based on the viewing direction of the camera. So what it'll mean is the faces that most face the camera are going to get black texture and the faces that most face away from the camera are going to get a white and whatever's in those texture slots. So at this point it'll create an x-ray gradient uh, across this. Uh, so if I hit render right now you'll see exactly that effect. All the polygons that face the camera directly are black and as it goes off angle you get the white. Now if I go in here and just change this to a different type, we tell it to change it to a Fresnel, and this is really just a different algorithm, and this is the algorithm usually used to control reflections on things like car paint, where the reflection gets more powerful as you get uh, more of a glancing angle. And if I render that, you will see exactly that. You get this much more refined uh, highlight, this rim light you could call it, all the way around the object. So now this is my problem though, is the rim light literally is all the way around the object and that's really not what I want. So I want to control the rim light so it's just on one particular side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this back to a uh, towards away 
And instead of based on viewing direction, I'm going to base it off of an object. Uh, and I'm going to say, well, look at um, this point helper here. So you now got 0.04, which is going to control uh, where it looks. And let's just see what that gets us right now. So you can see here uh, the toward is actually black, so it's going black towards that point helper. So I'm just going to reverse that. And then I'm going to add two points to the gradient for this shader. And what these two points will allow me to do is, is control which, where the boundary is between black and white and how strong it is. So I can go in here and say, well, let's just do that like so. And we'll again render and see what that looks like. So now you can see it's starting to get much stronger. Let's see if maybe we do that, what we end up with. Actually, I think I need to go the other way. And yes, I am correct. So I'll grab those two points and do that. And we render again. Maybe a little too far, so we'll kind of expand that just a little bit. And there we go. So what I've essentially done is created a mask with the first fall off map, saying only do work in the white areas of this model. And now in the white portion of the fall off map, I'll go in here and I'm going to apply another fall off. And this one I'm going to set to Fresnel. And again, I hit render. And so now what you'll see is I get a perfectly set rim light on just the one side of the character. Now if I want to, I can go through and start to adjust because the beauty is, for instance, that I am currently using this object to control where my lighting is. So if I want, I can, for instance, move it up and over here. And if I go and hit render again, what you'll see is my rim light adjusts itself. And now it's more to the top of the character. So you can actually basically put a point helper for every character or whatever in the scene. So you can adjust where the rim light is per character and move it around. Now, the one thing you're going to have to remember in this process is I've created a whole new material to do this. I could obviously put these texture maps as well right into the original shader in the in the uh, self-illumination glow channel of the original shader for Dave and it would create that highlight but I wouldn't have as much control but the thing to remember is if you're creating it on a separate material than the original material for your object uh, if you have any displacement in that original material you're going to want to also put those displacement controls into this one otherwise your rim light will not match the actual contours of your character so just something to keep in mind once you've got this, this now becomes a pass that inside of Photoshop or whatever compositor you want, you can now control this extra rim lighting, put glows on it, do whatever you want to give it that finesse uh, to your final image. So uh, that's creating rim lights with a shader and fall off maps. Thank you very much.